Good morning. Welcome in. I'm Deborah. This is Purush Intuitive, and we're going to be looking at the current energy for today, the collective energy. It is Monday, January 30th. So, oh no, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a little out of it today. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, so it's Happy Tuesday, uh, the day of Mars which is exciting. It gives us a lot of action potential um, to move forward. It's the masculine principle, right, of manifestation. And we are in this time where there's a lot shifting and changing. Um, and we kind of have to know where to put the right energy. I was getting this message this morning that it is a lot about our intuition. And Oftentimes, when we're frantic, when we have a lot going on, when, um, you know, we're angry or afraid or a lot of anxiety, etc., it can be really difficult to listen to those intuitive guidances. So the beauty of wellness is it helps us ground, stabilize, find the peace and calm that we need in order to make the best decisions for ourselves it's a really important time right now to honor, to empower ourselves with everything that's going on because it's really going to dictate how things are moving forward in this next cycle of Pluto into Aquarius. If you've been following along, we have a little bit of back and forth energy with Pluto, meaning um, it's... It went into Aquarius last year, came back into, or retrograded back into Capricorn, back into Aquarius right now. It's going to retrograde back the middle of the year. So it's a great time, like I said, to really prepare for what you want to see manifest in your life and put the work towards it. Mars is in Capricorn right now, and it is conjunct to um, Mercury, basically meaning this is not lighting. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like trying. I ran out of candles, <laughs> so I had to use tea lights, and these are a little sad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's conjunct with Mercury, so it really amplifies our ability to, um, you know, really honor ourselves with the knowledge gaining information, kind of figuring out, again, what is the best, best path moving forward. And we really have to sift through those opportunities of what we can trust and what we can't trust. So I wanted that to be our focus today, is just on where we put our trust, where we put our, like, clearing out our intuitive senses in the way that we can be a little bit more clear and receptive to those messages coming through. As you know, if you follow along, I like starting off with a little energy cleansing. I think it's really important. It's a good way to just kind of center ourselves, find that peace and calm that I was talking about. And setting intention just to remove anything that is um, blocking or, you know, potentially obstructing our path, clouding our vision, that type of vibe. So feel free to participate. If you have a smudge bundle on hand, you can obviously receive what I'm doing on my end. Energy is fluid. It transcends all things. Or you can totally skip ahead, whatever your vibe is. All right. I don't know. This is a little sad today. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's, technically, when there's not a lot of smoke, it's a good thing because it means the energy, the space is clear. So I can't complain. But, you know, I, I like the effects of the smoke. So, all right. I just get my candle up. I bless you with pure love and light, pure source energy, pure love and grace. I release anything that is blocking the highest and best messages fear, anxiety, bring us clarity, help us to know what to let go of, what to remove, what to leave behind so we can move forward in a more empowered way. All right, I'm gonna light this baby, light her up real quick and then we'll get going. Okay, 
so astrologically, <clears throat> we are seeing a little bit more reprieve, which I like. Reprieve meaning the energy is not as heavy. We have a lot more supportive transits that are coming up. Ooh, air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you could have this in your chart, or this is really the principle of our intellect. So going back to what I was saying, thinking, seeing through things clearly, we have to have that rational, practical component, but we also have to have the intuition. It is that representation of duality that we see present everywhere in the universe. And duality isn't a bad thing, right? It's about finding harmony, balance between the opposing forces. That, that's what it means to tap into that magician energy. The magician uses all the elements in his environment in order to get the best results. He is a um, master manifester. <laughs> that's what they call him in the tarot. So, you know, I think that our intuition, like I said, so... Um, the moon is in opposition right now to Neptune, and that can cause a lot of uh, illusion, lack of clarity. We got this card yesterday, uh, someone being really attracted, kind of drawn to you, etc. We want to make sure that whomever, whatever we're dealing with, it's not a band-aid is what I'm hearing, right? So sometimes if we leave uh, relationships behind, especially romantic relationships, sex can be a band-aid, right? It can be something that feels good in the moment, but it's not necessarily healing all the things of why you left that relationship in the first place. Um, if this is more of a platonic relationship that you're dealing with, then it's just a difference, difference of opinion. Someone doesn't have their... Uh, they're not sure what they want, how they feel, um, and, and so that's why it didn't work out. That's why there's tension or restriction right now in that dynamic. So be really conscious of who and what, right? This is, this is a reading about who we can trust. We can obviously always trust our guardians, angels, spirit guides. This is such a great support system, especially when we don't have a lot of physical support. So if we don't have community around us, friends that we can rely on, etc., remember that you always have the spirit team on your side, however you resonate with it. It doesn't matter what religion, what spirituality you ascribe to. We always have that team of protection, you know, on the spiritual side of things. Those spiritual beings are the more subtle layers, the energetic layers that we're trying to tap into when we're using our intuition. And they will give us guidance and direction. We just have to be willing and open to receive. That was our message yesterday. Commitment has been coming up as well. So I'm hearing this as twofold. It's committing to your path. It's committing to what you are putting forward and making sure, again, that you're really kind of vetting any opportunities or people that come in that are trying to give you something because we have two energies at play right now. Again, back to that duality we've been talking about. Two energies at play where I feel like past energy, it might even just be habits and patterns. Maybe you've you know, done away with people in your environment that aren't serving you, but you're still holding on to thought patterns, habits, etc., that are limiting you, holding you back, or uh, making you feel less than. So again, everyone, it's going to be different because these are collective readings, but really going within and kind of understanding is it a situation? Is it a person? Is it the way that I'm feeling about myself, etc.? And not getting um, tempted or sucked back into those energies because there's something beautiful that is unfolding. And this has been coming up a lot in our daily readings. I'm getting super excited about it personally because it's really fun to see how spirit delivers. So moving on, uh, this is from the past, right? This is someone or something that, um, you know, I'm hearing that for some of you, it's going to be something from the past that comes in that, again, is trying to lure you back in. The King of Cups, 
and Six of Pentacles. Someone who was really emotional. We've been seeing this water sign come up a lot for us. So someone who was too emotional about things reacted out of their emotion. I feel like they probably did more than what they normally would have had they been in a more balanced space. Meaning maybe they came after you. Maybe they said bad things about you, shamed your name, etc., lied. Um, I feel like a lot of that was out of their own emotional wounding, obviously, but, but for sure, you know, sometimes like when our emotions get the best of us, when we're not aware of our emotions or acknowledging them, it's way easier to, uh, react, <laughs> you know, there is that, that value. I was, I was, uh, listening this morning to something in that value between the mind and body connection. And if we're not feeling good in our body, it's going to show in our mind and vice versa, right? So yeah, okay. Thank you. Confirmation, the devil coming up, temptation. So this is just confirmation of everything I was just saying. The past is is rearing its head. It's peeking out. Are you going to come back? Do you, do you want to come play with me? <laughs> that type of vibe. Um, and the devil can be very alluring, right? It is usually going after our shadow side or the weaker parts of ourself where we really need to give some love, some attention to work through the healing so we can grow and evolve. But you're in a really empowered place. I love this justice energy. 1144 is on the clock, which really speaks about you standing in your power and also with that 44, it is confirmation that spirit has your back, that you are protected and, and guided in this process. You're being very diplomatic. And this is that value of weighing the scales. So sometimes we go through things where, you know, we need to give grace. We need to give understanding to whomever is involved. But sometimes, sometimes, especially if people or situations are showing up in our life as the devil, trying to control, manipulate, um, prey on our emotions, our feelings, not able to just like have an adult conversation, <laughs> you know, that type of vibe. Um, it can be, you know, really uh, off-putting. It can be very difficult. This is someone who's trying to get movement with you, right? They're trying, I feel like they're making plans of how they're going to approach you. And this is where that temptation component comes in. It feels like someone you know, it feels like someone you've dealt with. Or like I said, if you're not dealing with a specific person, this is a situation coming in that's really going to test and see how much you have learned, especially on that level of your worth and of your value. Are you gonna go back to old habits and patterns? Are you gonna say, you know what, I'm actually done with that and I'm ready to move forward? Because this devil is coming in, they are coming after you. I don't mean that in like a scary kind of way at all. I don't like the um, fear mongering <laughs> on the tarot channels, um, but you know, because, it, because again, we are more powerful than anyone else, right? In, in terms of we have the control over who we are, how we show up, what we say, what we do. And people can throw the worst things at you, whether it's anger, you know, talking shit about you, black magic, however you want to understand it or whatever you're specifically dealing with. People can throw that at you, but we still are able to protect ourselves, right? It's not like we get sucked into people's energy and then we're at, um, you know, their discretion. <laughs> that was kind of a... All right, so five of swords. So really kind of making strong boundaries. I feel like this needs to happen, especially with this devil energy. Um, again, just because it is, it is a very manipulative energy. It is someone, something that wants to control you. And I feel like they control you. They know you well enough where they're controlling you on every aspect. But like I said, it seems like you've learned enough to know, to see this clearly. Even if, like I said, you're not dealing with a specific person, people, situation, and this is just within yourself, you know yourself well enough to know whether something's going to trigger you or not. 
the five of swords is really talking about you setting up your boundaries you know uh, with the Four of Pentacles confirmation on that self-protection. And this is self-protection moving forward, depending on who and what you're dealing with. Um, you might piss this person off, right? They might get really upset and kind of come after you full throttle or just make life very difficult, very chaotic for a period of time. I would encourage you to really choose your words wisely uh, when dealing with this individual. You know, uh, short and simple is what I'm hearing. Try not to get too much into the emotions and the feelings. Knight of Wands, it's that Mars energy that we were talking about. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is actually the more, um, I don't know, like I feel because the King, the Knight of Wands is, is a dude who like runs away. <laughs> like he's the runner in the deck. He's in his own vibe. He doesn't really care what else is going on, what other people think or feel, unfortunately, if it doesn't serve his purpose. And so it's basically reminding you that if this, well, I mean, I don't think this thing is in alignment with you. I'll put it point blank because it is devil energy. And I feel like it's about you understanding that, number one, putting up those strong boundaries. There are strong boundaries in place, especially if you're in no communication, but this is about like when this person kind of manifests themselves, when they come back into the picture. And again, like our original message was on trust. So really vetting them, like, can you trust them? Is this something you even want to deal with again? I feel like you've moved away from it enough. Yeah, where um, you're not as interested in going back. But you got to continue to nurture that because I'm feeling there's a little bit of hesitancy on coming from your energy where, you know, do you trust yourself? That's that is <laughs> that should be the title of this, right? Trusting yourself, trusting all the things that you have overcome and that you have done in order to get to this point. And sometimes when we're not feeling grounded and stable, we have to take that extra time to nurture, to support ourselves, um, you know, so that we can keep pushing forward. There might be love here. Um, it might be someone that you care about. And that's why it is manifesting as the devil, because it is something that is harder to get away from. Like we said, that the devil is very tempting. It's luring in, you know, but it's going back to the old. It's not bringing in fresh energy. The devil in the traditional deck is shown with um, two individuals and they're bound by the ball and chain. <laughs> so basically just confirming that that's what the devil does. And and it's ironic, right? Because they can actually free themselves, but they choose not to. And so this is basically spirit saying, are you going to free yourself? Are you going to heal? Are you going to empower yourself and move forward in a way that, yeah, it might be a little scary because there's a lot of unknowns and we can all feel it collectively. What I like is there's a lot of earth energy for us right now in terms of planetary placement and that helps us ground a lot more. Grounding meaning we're in alignment, we're in that peace and calm state, so we're not feeling so all over the place or should I, shouldn't I, you know, questioning ourselves, etc. So healing the shame is what I'm hearing. Shame from this situation, whatever this person put you through, however they treated you, it feels like you're still taking on a lot of responsibility and making it uh, about you or something that you did or, you know, and there's always two sides to every relationship, every situation. I'm not doing it in a blaming kind of way or saying it in a blaming kind of way. Um, but we also want to make sure that we validate our experience. And the devil is very hard to, um, you know, unravel in our life. It's 
it's an energy that can be very difficult. It is essentially our shadow side. It's also ruled by Capricorn. We have a lot of placements in Capricorn right now. And I like that because the, the Capricorn energy can overcome. It has the strength. It has the endurance. Even if it feels like there's a lot of obstacles. And that has been the collective energy lately. Like we're just feeling a lot like we, you know, we're trying to push forward and we get stopped. We're trying to push forward and we get stopped. I like that nothing is going into retrograde until April. So it's giving us a little bit more forward momentum. And I feel like spirit is going to bring in those blessings. But we really have to make sure to take care of ourselves, right? healing, nurture, love, support. That is truly what allows us to align with ourselves. Self-love, self-care, having a daily routine. Look up Ayurveda. It's like a really amazing form of holistic medicine. It's all about preventative care. And I, my life has changed night and day since, since I started diving into this practice. It's really beautiful how the simplest things can help support us and we don't even think twice about it. You know, there's a lot of practices uh, like Abhinyanga. It's like a warm oil massage, starting your morning with that, um, eating at the right times and in the right way, that type of vibe. All that stuff is just going to help us feel a lot more grounded. It's easy to get sucked into the chaotic energy that is the world, <laughs> right? Um, and so when we ground, when we take care of ourselves, when we support ourselves, it gives gives us the stability to really sift through what is for us and what is not. So I hope that you have a happy Tuesday. I hope this reading helps. Definitely drop comments below. I love to hear how it plays out in your life. Thank you always for the love and support to the channel. I hope you enjoy. It is um, such a blessing for me to be able to bring these videos to you. I hope you have a fabulous day. Lots of love, lots of blessings. Thank you so much.